Hey y'all and happy awesome 2023. So today's the first video of 2023 for me. It's going to be an honest craft room tour. I'm calling it an honest craft room tour because I'm going to be sharing some parts of my craft room that other people probably won't show in theirs. And I just want to show you how I really craft and create in my space. So I did a video just like this last year, but the difference was I had my baby triplet with me, Kat. She was in town for a few weeks and she helped me purge and organize. Oh, you didn't know I had triplets? I have triplets. Anna, Sarah, and Catherine. So, hey girlies. <laughs> oh, if you're watching, if you're not watching, why aren't you watching your mom's video? <laughs> anyway, so she was here last year with me and she helped me purge and clean and organize, like I said. And I've kept things pretty tidy throughout the year, but you know, I let some things slide a little bit. And I'll show you some before pictures if I can remember to plug those in of parts of the spaces, but. And I've changed a couple things up since then. And there's a reason why I had to change a couple more things up. But anyway, I'll share that with you in a minute. This video is also part of the first Friday playlist. We used to call it the fourth Friday playlist because that's when it happened. We're switching it this year to the first Friday of every month. I'll share a little bit more about that in a minute as well. So I think um, let's get started with the tour. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. Okay, when you first come into the space, this is what it looks like. I have a, I guess that's an olive tree. That's socks in the window. And I have the lyrics to Lauren Daigle's Peace Be Still. And I made this mirror. And at the bottom there, I have a little basket with some books in it. I belong to a book club, but I want to read extra books this year. And hopefully I can get that done. This is the... <laughs> It's like a Jack and Jill bathroom and underneath the behind the curtain are the cat boxes and we have cat litter down here because we're switching cat litter because that's part of the problem. Somebody is having, not wanting to use the kind of cat litter that I use and I store some of the glassware here just because I didn't have anywhere else to put it and then this is where I, you know, my sink where I do my brushes. And then I just store my like, little sponge brushes there. And when after I wash my brushes, I dry them there. Going back into the room, these two totes hold pine pellets. Fun fact, Captain no longer wants to use pine pellets as his cat litter, so we're having to switch. But yeah, anyway, here's my desk. I do have this tripod here, but I don't really use it very much anymore because I do a lot of overhead filming. And then here is this bookcase my dad made for me in like 1981 or something, something like that. I just checked and he made it in 1986 and I checked because he painted the date on the inside of it. Anyways, so here I just have like tchotchkes and stuff like that. I actually really love this kind of messy cluttered space. There's lots of different memories and things that these little mementos remind me of. I usually put little map pins in to the places where we visited. I haven't really kept up with it. The last little bit here, I'll have to make sure we have all of those up there, but that's my map. <laughs> and then I have this cart. I actually got it from Aldi, which is kind of a grocery store. One of the kind of Trader Joe's but it's the brother of Trader Joe. Anyway, so um, I have my Etsy shipping supplies in here and I've got some down here at the bottom. I have wood pieces for just different seasons and over here as well. And in this bucket, I put upcoming video supplies. As I think about it or as I purchase it, I set it aside and I put it in the bucket so I kind of have it gathered. This is actually a project I was supposed to have finished a couple days ago, but ran into some um, equipment malfunctions, and so now I have to wait for Marvin to help me. But that's okay. Hey, I wanted to tell you a little bit more about the First Friday playlist. So we used to call it the Fourth Friday playlist because we had it on the fourth Friday of every month. And I host that playlist with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY. But in 2023, we're going to be switching it up just a bit and putting it on the first Friday of every month. We're going to have a different theme for each month. We're going to be announcing that soon. If you want to join, if you're a crafter or creator, 
um, just let me know. Message me or Sarah from GGB DIY and we can get you connected to our little chat on Instagram and it's a lot of fun and we would love to see what projects you're working on. So um, yeah, let me know if you want to join. And there's going to be a playlist in the description box below. I'd love it if you would click the link and then you can see all the other craft room tours that are happening today on this playlist. It's, it's just always a lot of fun to see behind the scenes, at least to me. In addition to having a new theme each month, we're also going to be spotlighting a guest host. And this month's guest host spotlight is Tammy from The Rusty Willow. She's actually someone that I've met in person. She's a wonderful crafter and I just love the things that she creates. And of course, I'm going to have her channel linked below as well as Sarah from GGB DIY. All right, let's get back to the tour. I store my cardboard here. I used to store it somewhere else, but you know, I moved things around. And here's the closet. Voila! You can actually walk into it. Cat helped me organize this part, especially. So I put all my little beads and little block things up here. Now here's something. See, when I have extra stuff, I don't always put it back. Or if I don't really have a, I don't, I don't have a way to organize just the little bits and pieces and stuff. Some of this really could go back into a container, but so I just have like junk, you know. And I have like, here's another one. It's just got little bits and pieces. And I probably won't remember I have it. And then that'll be, I'll probably go buy something else to replace it. You know, that's why you gotta be organized. So I just have, you know, filming equipment. I have some miscellaneous candles and decor stuff that I'm gonna craft with. And then I have birthday cards and gift bags and, you know, um, what do you call that? Tissue paper. <laughs> I couldn't think. So here's another example of things that people have that I, I have all these and I call them embellishments. It's like little sunflowers or there's daisies in there. There's a rodeo um, bandana material type thing in there. I don't I don't even know what else is in there. But when I'm crafting, I don't necessarily think to go look in this box for things. And I, I just I don't know. I think I need to think of a better way to store that and organize it so I think to look there or maybe put it in my work plan to look there first. Who knows? And then I have jumbled um, <laughs> a mess of all my Dollar Tree stuff. Under it is more Dollar Tree stuff, just like frames and such. And um, this is a tarp that I use to make signs. Um, <laughs> extra stuff. So I have my wood slices in there, craft balls, which is just like pom-pom balls and stuff. And I could kind of see, an, and it's organized to a certain extent, but it could be better. When I make pillows, <laughs> I use this as my stuffing. It's just an old, you know, pillow that I had. And instead of just throwing it away, I'm reusing it. And then of course I have my file cabinet here. And I keep extra wood right here that I bought and um, yeah so like there's extra Nancy Drew books because I collect Nancy Drew books and it's hard for me to let them go in my defense I collect the original matte yellow books not the new shinier books so and I also collect the vintage ones that are like in the blue covers and stuff like that I don't know I I thought to myself you know I'm gonna collect a, a set for each of my daughters because they're gonna love to read Nancy Drew just like me, they don't. So I just have the extras, I don't know. Maybe I'll sell them sometime, I don't know. One thing that I wanted to point out in this space, oh, okay, so <laughs> this is not that, but this is a vintage Tupperware container and inside it has yarn. And I do remember that I have the extra yarn and I remember that I have a lot of these supplies but there are some containers, I just don't know what's in it. And so I have to get better at organizing. But what I was gonna tell you is, I have this little shelf right here and it's working, you know, fine, but y'all look at how much wasted real estate space, vertical storage space. I'm, I'm just wasting so much vertical storage space right here. Same thing on as you walk in. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to try to find a shelf or have Marvin make me a shelf that will fit right in here and go up. 
I don't know how high, but of course we'll have to adhere it to the wall so it doesn't fall or anything. But I could just be a lot better organized, I think, if I had that space utilized that way. And I was thinking, oh, I thought I locked myself in. Hey, brother, how are you? So I was thinking I could move that into here and then, you know, make that look less cluttered right there. Anyway, that's what I was thinking. This is my craft room desk. And I don't know where it's from, but that's where the cat box is. You know, it's real life. So he didn't, he stopped using the cat box and then he went a couple of times underneath my desk by my chair, which is not what we like. I watched some Jackson Galaxy videos and he said, you're gonna have to put a cat box near where they're going. So I did. <laughs> so, and so far he's going, but you know, the pine pellets, you get a 40 pound bag of pine pellets for $6 and 50 cents. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cheap. It lasts me about a month. I have two cats. So about a bag and a half will last me a month. Very inexpensive, right? This tidy cat cat litter. I just got that to hold me over until I'd figure out what kind of cat litter I want to try next. But the tidy cat was, I think 20 pounds for like 20 bucks. So a little bit of a difference. And so I don't know how much I would use in a month because they're both wanting to use now the cat litter versus the pine pellets. So it's a whole thing. If you're enjoying today's video, I would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel and it helps YouTube to notice me just a little bit more. And that's always a good thing. And then also, if you haven't subscribed already, I would love it if you would. I really would. All right, let's get back to the tour. Okay, enough about that. So I, this is my craft room desk. That's my Cricut. I have the Cricut Air, Cricut Explorer Air 2, I think. Yeah, that's what I got. And um, this is a craft project in process. I was hoping to have it ready for today's video, but we'll see. I don't know, maybe I'll put a bonus clip at the end, who knows. But this is real life, y'all. This is how I have my stuff. I have these little, you know, when I buy their cat food, I keep the little tray that it came in and I use that as my little, you know, place to put my paint. And I have this monster mat. I have it linked down in the description box below, I'm pretty sure. But when I paint, I also bought these cutting mats from Dollar Tree and that's what I paint on. Even though this is a wipeable thing, you know, you could just wipe that off. But sometimes it stains just a little bit. So I try to paint on here and then keep that wiped down. I also used one of these, I think this was like a salad bowl from Olive Garden or something. I kept it and that's what I put my trash in, kind of like a la Rachel Ray. So Rachel Ray, um, when she cooks, she puts all her scraps into a bowl and then she puts that into the trash or compost or whatever she does. Anyway, that's my, that's my trash pile. So, you know, I probably should have emptied it out before filming, but you know, I'm keeping it real. In each of these cubbies, I just have miscellaneous supplies. I mean, I could go through each one, but it's kind of, you know, it's just stuff in there. Extra supplies, and that's a lot of Dollar Tree canvases and such. Some gift tags, some little things that I use to make book stacks. Some more supplies. That's basically what's in here. I have a lot of crafting material in here. Um, crafting material. I have a lot of material in that I use for crafts. And since I've showed you almost all of them, might as well finish it out. This one has the Jenga blocks in it. This one has more like wood sticks, is what I call them. And this one has my jute twine and a nautical rope. I don't use that much ribbon in my projects. But when I do, here they are. So I keep the neutrals on top because that's what I would use the most. And then I have some other colors down there. I switch out this middle row to put more, I guess, seasonal colors there. And since I'm working on Valentine's and we're gonna start doing like spring Easter stuff, I've got that switch there. This is my printer, it's an Epson. Um, ET 2800 and 
I use that for primarily for my sticker business. This is my vinyl down here. I don't have that much vinyl and I have my um, heat transfer vinyl right there. Here's some extra boards and like, not boards, <laughs> extra um, decor that I just like, I use to kind of flip into something else. Back over here, I forgot to show you, this is some Dollar Tree, mostly Dollar Tree like signs and things that I'm gonna use for future videos. And then over here, I just have some things like that I could use for flat lays and stuff. Starting at the bottom of this shelf, I've had this sewing machine since I was in eighth grade. I used to sew a lot more. And then over here, I made this little caddy thing and I store my glue in there. And then I just have miscellaneous stuff just like everybody else. There are pens in here, you know, I don't even really use them. <laughs> There's some extra paper in there. That's like calendars and things like that. And then I have a little journal here that I put stickers that I get. I like to keep my stickers because I'm in, I don't know, sixth grade or something. <laughs> and I put my camera here when I'm not filming. I've got extra vinyl scraps in there. And these are just like parts of the wood that I, like when you cut off the paint uh, stick or something and you have leftovers, I chunk them in there in case I can use them for a project. I've got some little templates back there that I've used on previous projects. This is my paint. And then I have some stuff back there. I don't even know what I have. I guess more ink or something maybe. See, I don't even know what's back there. That's what I'm telling y'all. <laughs> if you can't see your stuff, you're not gonna know what you have. So this little container here was made out of six Dollar Tree crates. But before you attempt this DIY at home, make sure you measure the crates because the crates they have out now are smaller. Yes. Thank you, Dollar Tree, for doing that. Because I was gonna make a couple more and I was like, they're not the same size. Awesome. Not actually awesome, but anyway. This is a vintage spice rack. A client of mine had it at his house. He was not taking it with me. He said I could have it, so I took it and I used it to store some extra paint. This is how I store all of my greenery. Not my like floral stuff, because I don't really buy too much floral stuff actually. But the stuff that I do have is right there. I made this little caddy holder and I just put some vintage bottles in it and I store some of my extra rolling pins right there. Yeah, just little things that I have around. So this here is how I store some of my little mini stickers when someone buys a sticker from me out of my Etsy shop. <laughs> I always include a couple little mini freebies and then this is how I store the stickers that or some of the stickers that I currently have on my site. Here's a little subliminal message. I was gonna do this whole pegboard situation and I never did, but it is what it is. That's basically my craft room. And when I said it was an honest tour, like, you know, I'm showing you trash. <laughs> I'm showing you cat boxes. Um, this is my real life. I didn't really clean it up or change it too much. We had to shampoo the carpets. And so I had to rearrange some things under there and we're trying to make it work because we love our cats, but it's not necessarily your typical craft room thing that you would have in your craft room. But I wanna show y'all something else because I am really trying to keep it an honest tour. So this is our guest bedroom and yeah. So there are a couple things right here that I'm gonna have Marvin hang up for me and that's some stuff that goes in the craft room, stuff that goes in the craft room. That is, and then some things that need to be put away. See, these are all craft room stuff. All that stuff right there, that's craft room stuff. And it's here in the extra room, not in the craft room. And more Dollar Tree stuff. This stuff right here is not part of the craft room. It's just extra decor that I need to put into the garage, into our storage. And I don't know what other DIYers do with their projects that they make. I know some sell them in craft stores, or not craft stores, but like uh, uh, consignment stores or um, what do you call those? I don't know. But anyway, we have a place called like Antique Gallery here and it's like a consignment store. You can get a booth at a store <laughs> and you can set up your stuff and sell it. But like over here, um, there's a, a painting that I was gonna thrift flip over 
And then there's two things that I made that I was gonna hang on the wall and they're not on the wall yet. <laughs> so, that's just honest, that's just real life. And I know that some people that I had asked, like, hey, do you wanna be, do you wanna do a craft room tour with me? Like, be on this playlist. They were saying, oh, you know, I just craft in the corner, I craft on my, the, my kitchen table or whatever. And I'm like, people wanna see where you craft and create. They wanna see the space that you, you know, make all the things that you do because people just like to see behind the scenes. I like to see behind the scenes, so I assume other people like to see behind the scenes. And if you're watching this video, you must like seeing behind the scenes. Is my space perfect? Is my space tidy? No, it's not. But I like my space and it really works well for me. I don't know who's texting me. Can you hear that? It keeps going off. But, um, and we had to, I was gonna film this like a week ago and I had to put that off because I can't paint on the carpet, which is gross and disgusting, but we shampooed it up and we're trying to fix the problem, but that's real life, y'all. And sometimes real life happens, but I still love to craft and create and do DIYs and share how I do them. And I just, I love that y'all are here too. Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching my video. I really do appreciate the company as I showed you around the space that I craft and create in. And I hope you enjoyed seeing behind the scenes. If you wanna see anything else, if you wanna see how I film, how I do my film setup, how I edit, anything like that, just let me know. You can either leave me a comment below or you can message me on Instagram or something like that. I'm happy to share because I know when I started out on my YouTube journey, you know, I had questions, I had, you know, I was like, how do you do this? Where do you find that? What do you do with all those kind of questions? I'm happy to help answer them for you. So just let me know if you have or want more information. Um, I think that's it. Don't forget, like, subscribe, do all the things. And if you wanna follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on Instagram or TikTok, Facebook, something like that, my handle is Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.